Welcome to the How Did Show, where interesting people answer the questions, how did I get here? And how in the hell did I get here? With your host, Donovan Cornitz. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another fantastic episode of the How Did Show. And we got a special one for you today. So check this out. Today's guest has been a force in the entertainment industry for years, holding management positions with brands like Stars, The Weather Channel, and MTV. She's also an accomplished voice actor with credits like Publix and AT&T. But this mother of two is probably best known as the weekend on-air voice for KISS 104.1 FM in the ATL. So y'all, show some love for my buddy, Shay Love, a.k.a. Jennifer long in the house hey what's up <laughs> what's going on sorry i bumbled up showing love but you know what the love is still there in real yeah, i felt up. it i felt to feel the love I so yes thank love. you so much for joining me on the how did show how are you today i'm amazing thank you so much for having me i love this concept like it's just it's brilliant well, you know, not to uh, <laughs> toot my own horn, but no, thank you. That's, that's great. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And it seems to be, you know, people seem to be receiving it well. So I'm digging it. You're digging it. It's all good. I love it. So thank so, you for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure having you. And I want to just get right into it. Ready to do this? So I'm ready. Let's do this it. This is the How Did Show. And that starts off with you answering, how did I get here? So let the people know, how did you become Shay Love? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good question. And really kind of a fun, it's been a fun ride and a fun journey. Um, interestingly, I, I actually started my career in entertainment. So I Um, as you mentioned, work for the Weather Channel and MTV. I knew that was kind of the space I wanted to be in, but um, kind of, you know, found myself doing different things along the way. And I actually took this class at the Alliance Theater with this woman, Gloria Martin. It was a voiceover 101 class. And she um, had us audition, you know, and I was initially when I took it, I was like, oh, you know what this would be like a fun hobby just like something to add yeah something on the side and so I as I said took this class she had us audition and so we got to pull kind of our own scripts I think I picked like a a children's book and you know some other script that she had and I read the scripts and she said you're gonna make a lot of money doing this and I was oh, like, snap. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. I tell me more. That's exactly what I said. And so she talked a little bit about kind of the things that you needed to do in order to set up your space, to build a studio in your home, to get the proper equipment. And I literally just started checking off these boxes one at a time each day. I'd like maybe do two or three things on this list. Right. And I built a studio in my home. I, you know, just started doing, you know, and um, it required a lot of reading, a lot of, you know, not so good auditions, some really good auditions, some money, some <laughs> not money, some credit. It costs um, to get in there. Exactly. And so I, I landed my first big um, e-learning project with Marriott, actually. Ooh, and I... Yeah. Yes, it was really quite nice. And um, I actually was like, I'm, I literally, when I, Donovan, am in the booth, I just, I smile doing this, you know, because it just feels like it is so connected to what I enjoy and what I want to do. And my background in entertainment was sales and marketing. And so what I tend to do is cultivate the work myself. Like I'm able to, you know, think about, what types of businesses require this kind of skill. And I just sort of, I go for it. So I have this kind of left and right brain thing working for me where I can, you know, be sort of very business focused, but also I can be creative, which I love. So, so that's how I got into voiceovers, but I, um, you know, found myself in a situation where I needed to find a different position and, Um, noticed this opportunity at KISS 104.1. 
And I literally was like, you know what? I, I would love to do this, you know, like go for how, it. what? Yeah. Like, why not just go for it? And so what I did is I actually created like a custom demo as if I was on air. Right. And they call it the air check, right? Yeah. Like an air check. Um, except for, you know, I hadn't actually been on air. Yeah. So. <laughs> You got to so fudge it a little bit. Fudge the numbers a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And not so much. I mean, you know, I have kind of the, the talent, but right. um, anyway, so I um, sent it to the gentleman and he literally, he called me in an hour wow. and he was like, wow, you know, you have a really amazing voice, which sounds different than the way you and I are probably talking right now. Um, but anyway, he was like, is this something that you might be interested in doing? And I was thinking, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, hell yeah. I sent Absolutely. you the stuff, dude. Yes. Right? <laughs> so um, I talked to him a couple of times and uh, met him in person. And I, you know, came on as as one of their weekend personalities. And this is actually, I guess now it's been about uh, three years. And nice. um, since that time have just enjoyed, you know, I love music. I love talking. I love talking to people. And so it's just, again, kind of one of those things that I do and it just, it just makes me smile. So, so that's how I, I love it. got to uh, being Shay Love. All right. So, no, I, I love that because um, you were going there with the, the voiceover there. I'm like, I want to know about the, the radio, too. So I'm glad you threw that in there. Um, yeah. So with Shay Love, where, where did Shay Love come from as opposed <laughs> to Jennifer Long? So how, how did that come to be? Well, so Shay is actually my middle name. Um, OK. Yeah. So that is my middle name. But I was like, you know, I don't want to be like Shay Long. Let's, you know, switch it up a little bit. And it's funny because um, one of the guys, actually, he's been he was extraordinarily helpful in kind of my journey through radio. He was like, what about Shay Love? And I'm like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> You're about spreading the love. I am. I'm about spreading love the love and joy and happiness. And so it just seemed to to fit and flow and it felt authentic and genuine to me. So so that's how Shay Love came about. I'm digging it. I think it was going to be fits. Shea Butter. <laughs> <laughs> be smooth like Shea right. Butter. Right. <laughs> no, I, I like that a lot. I mean, it's 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 funny how sometimes you can like really try to plan out like, oh, I'm going to be this and I want to try yeah. this and let me try this. And you write it out and then someone's like, just do Shea Love. You're like, yeah. OK, <laughs> why did not think of that? <laughs> um, so, no, that's that's great. Um, so I know that you started with like the marketing, right, and sales in the entertainment entertainment industry voice so voiceover came first before the radio yeah so voiceover okay. came before before getting into radio yeah, usually people have yeah. that turned around like they start yeah. in radio and then they get interested in vo so that's cool that you kind of did it the other way yeah yeah and i um you know i guess the thing that i found which was really interesting about doing voiceover first is like all of the different ways i could use my voice and um, the different sort of genres of voiceover. So, you know, what I love is kind of the ability to kind of, you know, be flexible and kind of bounce back and back and forth between both. Um, so yeah, I, I, um, I love it. So you said that your on air voice is not the same as like what we're talking in right now. So give us a sample. Let me hear (laughs) <laughs> the Shay Love on air voice. Let me hear what you got. So sometimes I, I use a little bit, you know, a little bit deeper. Okay. Register. But anyway, so like I'll I'll just, you know. <clears throat> so I might do something like this. <clears throat> um put you on the spot. Yeah, you put me on the spot. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's hear it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. It's Kiss 104.1, Atlanta's R&B. Shay Love hanging with you on this lovely Tuesday. How's it going, y'all? Oh, my <laughs> goodness, y'all. Keep it up. I can hear it. It was like a little bit of sultry, but still got a little smile to it. Yes. Shay Love yes. in the house. I'm digging yep. it. Um, so, obviously, uh, you have had to 
uh, interview a lot of people through your radio uh, job and also some of your great interviews that have been on Instagram Live, right? Mm -hmm. um, so have there been any interviews, you know, whether they were over IG or in person back in those days, back in the old mm -hmm. days where you could be face to face, where you were like nervous to interview, maybe a little starstruck? Yeah. Um, yes. The answer is yes, absolutely. I was so a little nervous. Give me an example of who you were nervous about. Okay. Well, um, actually, I was I was a little nervous to interview um El DeBarge because oh, okay. I don't, I, you know, I I I don't know. I was just like, man, his music is so classic and yeah, timeless. Timeless. And I um was I was a little starstruck, you know, like kind of like, man, this is going to be right. so, well, you know, I was, I was, a little, I was a little nervous. Okay. And, but, you know, even in, in that, I always just kind of use those nerves to, um, to help me thrive. And so yeah, use it as energy, try to keep it light and joyful and happy. And it just so happened that he was actually, backstage just finishing a sound check for a show he was doing that night okay. and so he also was kind of in this chill mode so you know it was just it was really yeah, cool yeah it was just like a conversation which of course it's just a conversation supposed to be a I, con yeah but you know yeah, it's yeah. different when you're like oh my goodness I can't believe yeah <laughs> yeah no I can feel that so is there anybody that's like a dream interview like a bucket list interview oh a dream interview I mean, my dream interview would be to interview Oprah. You know what? That would I be think you might be the second interview. person that I've interviewed that said Oprah. I mean, yeah. and I can't really, there's nothing I can say about that. Hell, I would love to interview Oprah. Yeah, yeah that would be amazing. Um, so on the other side of it, what about a dream VO gig? Oh, a dream VO gig. Okay. Donovan, I have this thing about like, okay, Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, or something like that. Um, you know, I, I just, I love the, particularly in like um, the healthcare space, mm -hmm. you know, I think my voice is appropriate for kind of being warm and caring. joyful and welcoming and caring and so I've always wanted to, you know, kind of do something in that space. Look, I'm listening <laughs> right here. I'm listening. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> hit her up. I can get you the contact info. All right. Um, no, that's that's good. I mean, I've had the honor of doing some things in the healthcare field, um, whether it's like pharmaceutical or on the mm -hmm. like hospital side. And um, those are pretty nice to kind of be in that kind of caring nurturing kind of space yeah and they also usually don't really have like a low budget <laughs> they, <Right. laughs> yeah they, that's another side of it that was also nice but no that's I can see that I could definitely see your voice being a really yeah. good fit for that absolutely yeah. so um the last little piece of this and I kind of want to <laughs> kind of like knowing you and seeing a lot of your IG uh content all of the like, like the dancing, the big smiles, the getting it in and dance. So where does that energy come from as far as like you're in the studio and I, I've worked, I worked in radio a little bit uh, a while ago, but mm -hmm. it can kind of get a little stuffy in there and, you know, <laughs> it can kind of be a little gray and dark in, in a radio <clears throat> studio. So where do you get that energy or that, that want to just dance and, and groove? Well, you know, I think it really is just me. Like I literally go in there and really every Saturday and Sunday, like the music's on and it would seem it if you were in there with me, you'd be like, didn't you just hear this song last week? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> still love it. Still vibing. I still love it. But no, there's just something about music that moves me. And it genuinely does. I love music. I love all different kinds of music. So just any opportunity to be in a space with music and actually be working with it, it just, it moves me. And so I genuinely, 
I like dance the whole time I'm there, you know, even nice. without a camera. Yeah. Um, and I just enjoy the moment, you know, like I really do feel very fortunate to be able to be in that space. And I um, it pays and, to like dance and have fun. I mean, yeah. And I really do have fun. Like I, I genuinely I genuinely do. So it really just comes from me. One, I'm the kind of person I try to find joy in everything. And I really do embrace being present in a moment. And so, you know, however I can make it fun and interesting. It's funny because that's one reason why I started doing the Sunday vibes um, right. on Instagram live, because, you know, it was kind of like, it was actually during the pandemic where we couldn't be in the studio. Right. And it was just an opportunity to still connect with people, but like, you know, be in this space that I have to be in on, on Sundays, right. but also welcome other people into that space. And so, um, I think it's great. Yeah. Speaking of great ideas, I think it's awesome because it's like, you get some heavy hitters yeah, to interview it's so and it's really awesome. I mean, congrats Thank on that. Um, you. all right. I just thought of another question just because of what we were talking. So I lied. This is going to be the last question. So since <laughs> I know, I mean, I mean, music obviously is a huge part of your life, right. And for a lot of people, but Say you're in a bad mood, having mm -hmm. a rough day. What's mm -hmm. your go-to song or artist that's going to snap you back into a good place? Oh, that's a really hard question. Um, well, a top three, then. It doesn't have to be okay. the number one. Okay, top three. I like top <laughs> three. Um, so actually, I love uh, the brand new heavies. And there's this song, <laughs> You Are the Universe, that just always makes me happy um right. so that's my number one one of my number one songs um i also um it kind of depends on my mood but i would say you know another go to well another go to artist for me right now is like robert glasper like i like ah, you know okay. his, yeah, yeah. um how he collaborates with all of these different artists you know right. i enjoy that and um there's also this guy, he's like a producer, his name's Brandon Williams. And I okay, love okay. like what he's doing with music. And so, and her, I love her. And her. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I can vibe with that. I yeah. I think for me, it's, um, and my kids uh, kind of know it. They could tell like, if I'm upset, like daddy, you should listen to the song. Um, mm -hmm. It's Human Nature by Michael Jackson. That is like oh, my... Yeah. And I know it's not like, it's not an upbeat, like make you dance song, but it always yeah. puts me in a good mood. Like it just, it like calms me, centers me for some reason. And just everything about it, I think is like perfection. And yeah. Um, so yeah, like my kids were like, daddy, you seem upset. Maybe you should listen to human nature. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can stop being all mad. So yeah, that would be one of the, definitely a song for me that like. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, it always, I don't know. It just always puts me in a good place. Um, yeah. But yes, well, thank you so much. That's that's a really great, uh, great introduction to who you are and how you become who you are. And I mean, the smile is infectious. I know people definitely vibe off of your energy when they see you uh, on IG and, and obviously when they listen to you on air. So good for you for putting just happy, fun, joyful energy out into the world, because I mean, kind of need that. You know what I mean? We kind of yeah. need that. We, so, we need love. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Shayla. Shayla. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right now, we're going to get into the, the wheel, wheel of what? So oh. let's get this thing right here. You see this like top, top notch technology right here. I like it. I yes, like yes. it. Yes. So we're going to spin this bad boy. Don't be trying to read the answers. Ahead okay. Time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the question. So <laughs> we're going to spin this. And whatever it lands on, you just got to answer it for me. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this thing. All right. So head hands. So it's funny that okay. it landed on this because actually it was, a, uh, I think my last guest had landed on that too. But so head hands is this. <laughs> you absolutely have to, <laughs> you're laughing already. You absolutely have to choose. All okay. right, gun to your head, got to choose to save your life. You okay. either have to be mutated to have a head that's way too huge for your body or <laughs> hands that are way too small for your body. Which do you choose and why? Oh. <laughs> okay, 
a head that's too big or hands that are too small? Yes. I'm going to go with hands that are too small because my hands are already too small. Wait, hold hold them up. Wow, well, okay. I get <laughs> Look at the little hands. That's so cute. Uh, <laughs> so you're just going to make them smaller. You're already used to. I mean, you know, I'm used to them already being small. Okay. Well, the hopefully that won't affect. Too, the like, head oh. is too big, though. I mean. That's problematic. So like the previous guest, uh, was a producer, Zoe. So he went with the, he had to have the huge head because he plays keyboard. And he was like, I can't oh. play keyboard with tiny hands. So oh. he, he was well, like, I'm just going to have the huge dome and get like custom hats <laughs> made. <laughs> so uh, so you're going to keep your regular size head. Yes. Itty bitty hands. And I'll have little itty bitty hands. <laughs> <laughs> your, little, your little tiny high fives all, all right okay. they're already <laughs> tiny <laughs> okay well cool no I, I like it i like it and it makes sense i mean if you're already used to the small hand life hashtag small hand life then you know what <laughs> change it to hashtag tiny hand life I'm, exactly I'm, I'm cool with it like um, tiny hands. <laughs> hands. all right so now that we got that silliness out of the way um now comes the second part of the show Okay, right. but wait, you had you had a really fun thing on that wheel wait. Oh, that I wanted, I wanted to do. Oh, you know what? Are you talking about <laughs> hidden talent? Yes. Might you be talking about the hidden talent? That's what I'm talking about. Right, you know what? <laughs> I can't, I, I don't know how that happened. That's my, It's like destiny. You have to do it now. Give the people your hidden talent. Okay, this is my hidden bar talent. And I don't, I don't share with a lot of people, but I'm about to share it with you. And by the way, I, this is, she has not given me any kind of like precursor to this. So I'll be no. experiencing this live with y'all. All right. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Is, um, yes. So I do an extraordinary rendition of a monkey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> I, I don't think I am, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get ready. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. All right, here we go. <clears throat> wow. You know what? Slow clap because that was very robust. <laughs> full of energy. Oh my God, it brought my kids out. <laughs> yeah, like I'm all doing the, the monkey thing again. Like, oh gosh, you're doing the monkey, monkey thing again. <laughs> no, you know what? That's impressive. I'm- <laughs> now you just got to explain hey, what, are you, what are you doing mama what are you doing you know what for everybody <laughs> out there i hope you realize the treat that you just had there <laughs> live and direct that was that was pretty you know what round of applause again because i, I was impressed you. i wasn't expecting that level of accuracy and umph so good oh, for well, you. Thank you yeah you know it's just <laughs> these things we we are hidden talents dare i ask how in the world <laughs> did, you, did you develop this talent like where where did that start were you watching a documentary oh, or a nature goodness. show and you're like i can do that well you know i used to read books to my kids mm-hmm. all the, i love reading and so i would read to them when they were younger and um you know my son had an affinity for curious george so i'm like what would he sound like Okay, and then so I just sort of created my own version. It's very <laughs> accurate. Like that's like it's very impressive from a Curious George. Thanks. Wow, you know what? Thanks, Curious George, for helping <laughs> helping Shay Love put that out into the world. I love it, um, I mean, and I know what it's like because I remember when my boys were <laughs> were younger and like trying to do voices for the different characters and animals and stuff. So you know what? I love it. See, that just shows <laughs> okay. you're a creator creator yeah. at heart yes I, really <laughs> My goodness, I was definitely not expecting that level so I'm still kind of shell-shocked right now are um, you oh I no am. I am and I can't believe hopefully I mean, in a good way can you hopefully believe it was... that it landed right there on its own I know I mean, look at that <laughs> how it happened magic <laughs> all right so now that we got that to to think about for the next you know few months at least um <laughs> let's move into the second part of the show where you have a story or about an event or something that happened that made you say, how in the hell did I get here? What do you got? 
Okay. Well, so, um, gosh, man, I, well, okay. Um, I actually, that is such an amazing, that is such a good question because I think Mm -hmm. that I have so many, um, different experiences. And I think the way you say, how did I get here also made me think about, you know, you could say, how did I get here? How did I get here? You know, just right. there are different ways that you could interpret that. But <clears throat> for me, and actually, you know, what's interesting is this particular story happened around the holidays. Um, okay. And so maybe I, I'm going to use that this incident as an example. It's timely. We're, we're, we're in the holiday season right now. Yeah. So I, I bought a gift for someone. Um, it was actually a pair of underwear. And All right. I, um, I like this already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, so anyway, and, you know, in my excitement, you know, I, I also try to be really thoughtful about the gifts that I give, I think, and think about what somebody might enjoy, what they might appreciate. And, you know, um, anyway, so I purchased this pair of underwear And for whatever reason, I just couldn't connect with this person to share this gift, right? And, you know, um, what I, anyway, long story short, I decided to return the gift. Um, I decided to take it back. Um, And the reason I decided to take it back was because, you know, I sort of felt like, wow, you know, I just, I'm not getting that vibe. I'm not getting that energy that I should would receive appreciation for giving this gift, right? So I went back to the store to return the underwear. And as I'm walking into the store, I am approached by this gentleman who he appeared to be homeless and he came up to me. And, you know, I wasn't really sure exactly what, you know, he was going to ask me, but um, he came up to me and he said, excuse me, ma'am, you know, I'm just wondering if you could help me with something. And I was like, okay, sure. And he said, I actually um, need some new underwear. And I know that sounds bizarre, but he did. And I said to him, I was like, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe this. But I literally in this bag that I'm walking back into the store, I literally have a pair of underwear. Would you like them? Right. And so I, he said, yeah, of course. Yes. I gave it to him. They weren't his exact size, but you know, <laughs> <That's fine. Think of laughs> <it. laughs> but, um, but anyway, you know, I, I reflect on that particular experience for a variety of different reasons. And I do think about how did I get here? Right. And the, the reason that that comes to mind when I think about that story is because um, in some ways in giving the gift, I was searching for appreciation. And, you know, I think this person was searching for something specific too. Obviously he was looking for a a very tangible thing, underwear. And I was looking for something that was a little intangible, appreciation and gratefulness. And he, you know, offered that thing to me, which was just being extraordinarily grateful, obviously, that his need had been met. And I felt like, wow, I feel really appreciated and that the person who deserves this gift actually received it, you know? And so um, when I think about how did I get here, sometimes these things happen to us in our lives where you're just kind of like, how did I get there? Like, how How did did this moment happen? Underwear to this guy. Right. And it sounds so unbelievable, but in some ways it's, it's not, you know, like it, it, it is kind of the universe telling us, helping us meet yeah. the needs that we need, you know? No, and that's, so, that's um, very interesting. Yeah. I gotta know, like what, like what tier of underwear are we talking? Are we talking like I mean, this was some nice underwear, okay. nice draws. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was some good old good draws. Good like good draws. Okay, the good like, stuff. The ones you was in excited. the back for special, <laughs> for the special occasion draws. No, I, that's that's really interesting. I mean, what are the chances of you Seriously? returning a gift that you didn't feel was being appreciated? Yeah, and someone comes up to you like, "Hey, I, I've been approached by people." you know, whether homeless or like panhandlers 
Never once has anyone said, hey, hey, bruh, can you help me out with some draws? Like never. Yeah, never. But the one time it happens to you is when you're actually in possession of draws that you yes. weren't able to give to someone else. Yeah. That's and it's incredible, unbelievable, actually. but it really was, it was kind of extraordinary. Like I was kind of like, wow, this is, this is very, this is interesting. Yeah, it almost and makes me look I around was, like, did someone, what's that? Did you? Next, you look around like, how did you know I had draws, bro? Like, well, and that's that was what I was thinking because I was like, well, the bag is not clear. Like, it was, you know, it was like a a a bag. Like, you can't see. So anyway, um, but yeah, no, and I, you know what was, what's kind of funny about that story, or not necessarily funny, but interesting, is that while you could take that as like this completely just random coincidence of underwear. underwear you know manifestation i guess but (laughs) there is like a deeper message or meaning to that i mean i think you almost can't avoid thinking about it on a deeper level because there's just no way yeah that that could happen completely by coincidence i'm just saying yeah underwear were needed underwear were in possession underwear was exchanged yes no, and it was incredible. more more about I think what two people needed. Two people needed something. He needed that, and I needed this. And his and you you know, expression it. of gratefulness and gratitude and appreciation was probably just as equal to um, him receiving the underwear. So the original target for the <laughs> underwear. <laughs> I mean, did, did, did that go anywhere? I mean, did he, did he ever get any gift or was that just like, you know what? You ain't want these draws. Forget you. He didn't, he didn't get a gift. Yeah. Man, you hate to see <laughs> it. But you know what? I just had, I had to know, I needed some closure on this story. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's actually really, really interesting. And I can honestly say I did not see the story going there when it started with, I bought underwear. So right. I was very <laughs> pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I was going to say that could have took a, a sharp left at any it point in time. <laughs> it really, it really. Um, but no, that's, that's really good. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so sure. before I let you go, mm-hmm. let's let the people know, where can they find, see, here Shay Love slash Jennifer Long out there in the world and how can they find you on social media? Okay. So you can find me um at Kiss 104.1, which is here in Atlanta. Um obviously ATL. on the F- ATL on the <laughs> FM Dow, but you can also stream um on our app, Kiss 104.1 app. Um, but I'm on on the weekend. So I'm on Saturday from four to seven and Sundays from 12 to four. And I also um, am on Instagram at at being Shay Love. And I host a show on Instagram live called a Sunday Vibes. And that's every Sunday on Instagram live at 225. Like that all rhymes. You know, I was just about to ask you why 225. That's so random. But now I know it rhymes. Yeah. Well, and it's in between my break, my longest yeah. break. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Go with the rhymes. Oh, oh, I'm trying oh, to oh. help you here. <laughs> my oh, bad. My no. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. You're like, oh, yeah, I had to do that. It was a creative choice. It was a creative uh, vibes choice. at five. No, and I you remember it, right? Yeah, Instagram absolutely. Live at 225. And by the way, like I seriously recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I've tuned in a few times and um got a couple of shout outs. So I've been giving that. you shout outs, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, I highly recommend it. And so, yes, everyone check her out. Um, whether it's the radio, whether it's on IG, always fun, always a good time, lots of really positive energy and joyfulness and smiles and bouncing hair. <laughs> and it is just tons of fun. So I definitely recommend it. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for being on the How Did Show. I hope you had a good time. I know I, I had enjoyed it. a wonderful it. time. And thanks for, again, for the wild talent that led <laughs> right into a story about underwear. I mean, what other show can I mean, give you that other than the How that. Did Show? I mean, really. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much again. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. And uh, yes, to you out there, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in for the next episode of The How Did Show. Peace. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me and having some fun 
as we interview some really, really interesting people. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and be on the lookout for more episodes of The How Did Show. <laughs>